evening, everyone. Good evening, and thank you for taking the time out of your busy lives. First of all, first of all, I have an issue with them chanting her name at the rally. I don't know, but I feel at the rally like that, when you watch Donald Trump's rally, they actually chant Donald Trump's name. They just chant USA, USA, or fight, fight, fight. The iconic fight, fight, fight he did when he was, when he was shot. So, first of all, I have an issue with them chanting her name at rallies. It means probably they are idolizing her or something like that and uh, it's not it's, it's not it's not too good but it, it might just be me but let's continue watching it thank you thank you thank you thank you everyone mm -hmm. so listen one week from today you will have the chance to make a decision that directly impacts your life, the life of your family, and the future of this country we love. And it will probably be the most important vote you ever cast. And this election is more than just a choice between two parties and two different candidates. It is a choice about whether we have a country rooted in freedom for every American or ruled by chaos and division. Yes, yeah, so when she made the statement, when she made the statement, he said either a candidate with rule of law or a candidate with chaos rooted in division. And I will say the latter is Kamala Harris herself because the last four or three and a half years of Biden Harris administration has been filled with chaos all over the world. We have the Ru Russia Ukraine war, we have the Middle East war, we have the the um, Afghanistan withdrawal that got 13 soldiers killed. And speaking of division, we have um, Kamala Harris always referring to. Uh, Donald Trump as racist as Hitler so that is a great division but you know there's this politics the Democrats play they accuse their opponent of what they are doing it's, it's just is that is their style of politics and that's why I'm not a big fan of them because they they make statements and they accuse their opponent of what is so obvious that they are the one doing it and it makes you think are you not seeing the right thing like it makes you question your your sanity and that's what she's trying to do in this speech many of you watching have probably already cast your ballots but I know many others are still considering who to vote for or whether you'll vote at all so tonight, I will speak to everyone about the choice and the stakes in this election. Look, we know who Donald Trump is. He is the person who stood at this very spot nearly four years ago and sent an armed mob to the United States Capitol to overturn the will of the people in a free and fair election. Again, I, I, I think either Kamala Harris is incompetent or our handlers are equally incompetent because he's an incompetent person that will hire an incompetent board or backroom staff. This is your closing statement. This is your final speech. I think for the first 10 minutes should be about you, your policies, and how you can make lives better for Americans. So even if you want to speak about inflation, if you want to speak about the old things affecting Americans, you've been in the office for three and a half years. People don't really know who you are. So 
So as as a good salesperson, if she is a good salesperson, you you a a job is to sell herself. She already said it. She said people people know who Donald Trump is. Like almost everybody knows what Donald Trump is capable of doing. So coming over again at your own closing statement to tell us who Donald Trump is not selling yourself. Whatever you want to accuse Donald Trump of now, your administration have accused him of it for the past four years. You've called him all the names. So the people who who has been swayed or who has been convinced by the name calling, they're probably already in your camp. And the independents that's that still feel okay even everything you've told me is not a reason for me to switch to your side then you have to give me a reason to switch to your side and that's why she she was meant to sell herself for the first 10 minutes without mentioning anything donald trump just sell yourself go there and sell yourself go there and tell them what you're going to do differently from the biden Harris administration but then this is just how many this is just two minutes into the into the speech of, of, of a 20 29 minute speech i already mentioning donald trump without selling yourself an election that he knew he lost americans died as a result of that attack 140 law enforcement officers were injured because of that attack and while Don and by the way the americans that died were shot by the police they were shot by the police. So, how is that Donald Trump's fault? Donald Trump sat in the White House watching as the violence unfolded on television. He was told by his staff that the mob wanted to kill his own vice president. And Donald Trump responded with two words. So what? America, that's who Donald Trump is. And that's who is asking you to give him another four years in the Oval Office. Like I said again, people know who Donald Trump is. But they don't know who Kamala Harris is. Telling us who Donald Trump is in the beginning of your statement is not selling yourself. You have to sell yourself. And she has not sold herself. This is the first three minutes. And... I figured that um, in this stage, in this age, in this current age of us, people have a very, very low attention span. If you can't say yourself in the first three minutes of any speech you want to make, three minutes is too long. If you can't say yourself in the first two minutes, first two minutes, you've lost it. And after this reaction video, I'm going to make another video about Trump's finance final statement is closing speech at the madison square garden rally and you will see trump as a very clever salesman he's going to close his closing state he's going to close his speech and sell himself within two minutes without mentioning his opponent telling them what is wrong and how he's going to fix the problem this is already three minutes into her speech and she has not said anything about herself she has not said anything about her policies so if i'm just I'm, I'm i'm a very busy person and i just want to watch the first three minutes of your speech to see what you want to tell me then you're telling me this and i'm an independent voter i already know who donald trump is you don't need to tell me who donald trump is again if the bad rhetorics about donald trump is reasons why i won't vote for him i've, I've been in kamala Harris camp before yeah if i'm an independent so for me not to be in your camp, even after I've heard, after everything I've heard about Donald Trump, that means I'm not sweet about that, but maybe other things will sway me to your side, probably the economy or the border policies, or the border policies. So within your first three minutes, you've not said anything about the economy, you've not said anything about the inflation, you've not said anything about the border, which is the three most important things that the people are basing their votes on majorly the independents and independents are like 20 percent not to focus
focus on your problems, but to focus on his. And Donald Trump has told us his priorities for a second term. He has an enemies list of people he intends to prosecute. He says that one of his highest priorities is to set free the violent extremists who insulted those law enforcement officers on January 6th. Donald Trump intends to use the United States military against American citizens who simply disagree with him. People he calls, quote, the enemy from within. America, this is not a candidate for president who is thinking about how to make your life better. This is someone who is unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, and out for unchecked power. Donald Trump has spent a decade trying to keep the American people divided and afraid of each other. That is who he is. But America, I am here tonight to say that is not who we are. That is not who we are. That is not who we are. You see, what Donald Trump has never understood is that e pluribus unum, out of many, one, isn't just a phrase on a dollar bill. It is a living truth about the heart of our nation. Our democracy doesn't, it doesn't require us to agree on everything. In fact, we like good arguments from time to time. Just think of your own family, right? It's not the American way to not have disagreements. We don't shy away from robust debate, robust debate. In fact, we like a good debate, don't we? We like a good debate. <laughs> and the fact that someone disagrees with us does not make them the enemy within. They are family. Thank you. You said because somebody disagrees with you doesn't make them the enemy from within. But you constantly call Trump a fascist. You call him Hitler. You call his supporters Nazis. Isn't that saying one thing and doing totally the different thing you are accusing you are accusing your opponents of doing? Neighbors, classmates, co-workers, they are fellow Americans. And as Americans, we rise and fall together. America, for too long we have been consumed with too much division, chaos, and mutual distrust. And it can be easy then to forget a simple truth it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. It is time to stop pointing figures. We what did I just say? <laughs> it's time to stop pointing fingers. But she constantly points fingers at Trump. Even at the beginning of the speech, she started the speech pointing finger at Trump and just six minutes into the speech you said it's time to stop pointing fingers I am livid I'm livid have to stop pointing fingers and start locking arms it is time to turn the page on the drama and the conflict the fear and division it is time for a new generation of leadership in America. It is time for a new generation of leadership in America. She just shot herself in the leg because you're currently in power. So asking for a new generation of leadership, that means you want another leader that is different from the one in office in the past four years. 
and Trump is that person. I don't get. And I am ready to offer that leadership as the next president of the United States of America. Mm. Are you going to offer something when you are the one in power? This has not been a typical campaign. Even though I've had the honor of serving as your vice president for the last four years, I know, okay. but I know that many of you are still getting to know who I am. I don't even know who well, you are. Let me tell you, I am someone who has spent most of my career outside of Washington, D.C. So I know that not all the good ideas come from here. I am not afraid of tough fights against bad actors and powerful interests. I'm any back for decades as a prosecutor and a top law enforcement. I'm any bad actors. Or how many bad policies have you fought against in the last three and a half years? No. I'm an officer of our biggest state. I won fights against big banks that ripped off homeowners against for-profit colleges that scammed veterans and students, against predators who abused women and children, and cartels that trafficked in guns, drugs, and human beings. And I did this work because for as long as I can remember, I have always had an instinct to protect. There's something about people being treated unfairly or overlooked, that frankly just gets to me. I don't like it. It's what my mother instilled in me, a drive to hold accountable those who use their wealth or power to take advantage of other people. The drive to protect hardworking Americans who aren't always seen or heard and deserve a voice and I will tell you, that is the kind of president I will be. <sighs> and look, I'm sorry, it's just eight minutes into this speech and I feel like sleeping off. I, I feel bored, uninspired, <clears throat> but I have to keep on watching because of you all. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but here's what I promise you. I will always listen to you, even, even if you don't vote for me. I will always tell you the truth, even if it is difficult to hear. I will work every day to build consensus and reach compromise to get things done. And if you give me the chance to fight on your behalf, there is nothing in the world that will stand in my way. So look, in less than 90 days, either Donald Trump or I will be in the Oval Office. Okay? On day one, on day one, It's 10 minutes already, and she has not said anything about the inflation, she has not said anything about uh, the border crisis, and she has not said anything about the economy. None. She has not said anything about these three important issues. And it's already 10 minutes into a 29-minute speech. And she hasn't mentioned anything about inflation. She hasn't mentioned anything about border security. She hasn't mentioned anything about the economy. All she has been saying is Trump is bad, Trump is bad, Trump is bad. And this has been the basis of her campaign all this far. I'm very sure the next thing she's going to talk about when she stops talking about Trump is abortion. But let's continue. And on day one, if elected, 
On day one, if elected, Donald Trump would walk into that office with an enemies list. Oh, oh, ah, my God, I'm, see, I'm tired of this video, for goodness sake. On day one, this is what I'm going to do. On day one, I'm going to fix the economy. On day one, I'm going to stop the invasion in the border. On day one, I'm going to try and stop the inflation. That's what you should say, not say on day one, Donald Trump is going to come with enemies list. We are going to watch Donald Trump's one hour, because Donald Trump's speech is always very long. He likes speaking for a long time. We are going to watch Donald Trump's closing speech. And you will show me where Donald Trump said he has a enemy list is taken to the White House. They are the ones who who have I mean, a, enemy lists. They are the ones who have jailed lots of Republicans. They are the ones trying to jail Donald Trump himself. They are the ones also planning to destroy Enomox for daring to support Donald Trump. When elected, I will walk in with a to-do list. Full of priorities of what I will get done for the American people. And I will work with everyone, Democrat, Republicans, and Independents, to help Americans who are working hard and still struggling to get ahead. I have been honored to serve as Joe Biden's Vice President. But I will bring my own experiences and ideas to the Oval Office. My presidency will be different because the challenges we face are different. Our top priority as a... This is what happens to flip flopping. When the actor at The View and um, one other interview, was it uh, the 60 minutes interview, they said, what is she going to do differently from Joe Biden? She said, there's nothing she could think of. Now she's saying she's going to bring a different style of leadership. Okay, either you're saying... The last four years has been a disaster. Joe Biden's style of leadership has been a disaster. And they're going to bring another style of leadership. Which furthermore supports Donald Trump's claim that the last four years has been a disaster. So you claiming you're bringing a different style of leadership means you are actually alluding to Donald Trump's facts that the last three and a half years has been a disaster. The last three and a half to four years has been a disaster under you and uh, Joe Biden. That's what she's saying. And again, it's 11 minutes into her speech and she has not stood herself. Nation four years ago was to end the pandemic and rescue the economy. Now, our biggest challenge is to lower costs, costs that were rising even before the pandemic and that are still too high. I get it. I still remember our mother sitting at that yellow Formica table, late at night, cup of tea in hand, a pile of bills in front of her, trying to make it all work. And I've heard from so many of you who are facing even greater financial pressures. Donald Trump's answer to you is the same as it was the last time. Another trillion dollars in tax cuts for billionaires and big corporations. And this time, he will pay for it with a 20% national sales tax on everything you buy that is imported. Think about it. Clothes, food, toys, cell phones. A Trump sales tax that would cost the average family nearly $4,000 more a year. First of all, there's nothing called the Trump sales tax because I listen to Trump almost every day the tariff he was talking about was tariff for international pr products and not all international products there are products where there are products which are being produced in u.s normally but they close down the factories in the u.s and they are going to neighboring countries to produce them and import them back to the u.s like vehicles the automobile like 
for example the automobile industry and that's what he normally use as an example every time because on a normal day the u.s cannot produce everything like the u.s cannot produce everything and it's, it's so obvious so it's, it's he was speaking about the automobile industry because the u.s the detroit michigan and all they're very good they have big automobile factories and most of all these automobile factories they are closing down and they are moving and they are picking bigger warehouses bigger auto plants in mexico and they are planning to sell those vehicles into the us and what he's saying is it's going to put tariff on those cars and make sure that they are not they are not able to sell them into the us so as to put so, so as to promote us made products so not saying there's a certain trump seal tax is, is a lie okay at some point you said he wants to cut tax for his rich friends at other hand, you are saying you want to increase tax on product on products so is it not i then i is it not his rich friends that are in that will most likely be importing those pro products into the u.s so if he wants to cut tax for his rich friends how is he going to put how is he going to increase tax on the products of his rich friends that are being imported into the country this thing they are <laughs> they are counterintuitive because on one hand you said it's going to give his friends big task codes on the other hand you said it's going to tax the products of that his friends will be importing into the u.s and on top of that you will pay even more if donald trump finally gets his way and repeals the affordable care act <laughs> which would throw millions of Americans off their health insurance and take us back to when insurance companies had the power to deny people with pre-existing conditions. Well, we are not going back. We are not going back. We are not going back. Because we also know Donald Trump would deliver tax cuts to his billionaire donors. I will deliver tax cuts to working people and the middle class. First of all, Camaraderie has gotten billions of dollars in donation. Donald Trump is even more than 500 million behind Camaraderie's in donations. More billionaires more top corporation ceos are behind camillaries than donald trump and he's saying donald trump's billionaire friend bill gates donated to camillaries jeff bezos wife donated to camillaries the only known billionaire that i know behind trump is Elon musk and it's because democrats are planning to destroy Elon musk and Elon musk was like okay no problem if you want to destroy me, then I'll have to support your opponent. And that's because Elon Musk on the other side, as a businessman and as he should, is fighting for his survival. I will make sure you have a chance not just to get by, but to get ahead. Because I believe in honoring the dignity of work. I will enact the first ever federal ban on price gouging on groceries. Ah! She was the one that introduced price gouging for groceries. They said they... <sighs> she said the malls, they are inflating prices and it's going to control their prices. It's going to do price gouging. Now she's saying she's going to introduce national price ban on price gouging like the beginning of the campaign she said she's going to implement price gouging now she's saying she's going to ban price gouging not even up to three months into the campaign she has flip flop oh god this woman is she will say anything she, to get elected anything so annoying and that's why I, I can't trust someone like this that will say something today and the next day you're saying another thing i can't trust you the price 
of insulin and limit out-of-pocket prescription costs for all Americans. I will fight to make sure that hardworking Americans can actually afford a place to live. I'll never forget how our mother saved up and how excited she was when she could finally afford to buy our first home. I remember how excited she was. And I know that owning a home is not only a measure of financial security, it's about the pride of your hard work. And as president, I will fight to help first-time home buyers with your down payment, take on the companies that are jacking up rents, and build millions of new homes. For years, we have heard excuses about why America can't build enough housing. Enough with the excuses. I'm going to cut the red tape and work with the private sector and local governments to speed up building and get it done. And the cost of housing isn't the only financial pressure on middle class families. I have met so many young people who have a natural desire to parent their children well, but not always the resources to do it. So I'll fight for a child tax credit to save them some money, which, which will also lift American children out of poverty. I'll work to lower the cost of child care, which is out of reach for too many working families today. And for too many people in the sandwich generation who are raised. So what happened? Why are these things very hard for the family to do it? It's because of the inflation caused by the Biden Harris administration. And she has been making a lot of promises, empty promises, because she's saying a lot of things without saying anything. You're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. But you are not addressing the main cause of these problems, which are immigration, influx of undocumented and illegal immigrants who are actually using public areas, public venues as shelter, which is putting So the money which they are meant to use as emergency funds and funds to clean and take care of the society they are spending on in illegal immigrants to keep them in the country and which 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 is costing them to print money the wars the wars in ukraine the wars in ukraine and the wars in domingo is is costing the u.s to print more billions of dollars which is causing inflation and inflation is what is causing it and it's making it very hard for families to live well so she's not addressing the causes of these problems and she's saying she's going to solve them. How are you going to solve something you don't know the cause or the root cause of it? She's just giving empty promises. Empty promises. Raising young children and taking care of a parent, juggling all of it is extremely difficult. You know, I took care of my mother when she got sick, cooking food that she had a taste for, finding clothes that would not irritate her skin. And understand, as I do, that caregiving is about dignity. It is about dignity. Hey, please, and currently, please. if you need home care and you don't have some money to hire someone, you and your family need to deplete your savings to qualify for help. That's just not right. So we're going to change the approach and allow Medicare to cover the cost of home care so senior Donald Trump said this at his last rally God this woman steals everything I'm sorry this woman steals every policy of Donald Trump she stole the low ta no tax on thieves Donald Trump said we're going to give tax credit to family members who get to take care of their old loved ones in their homes. And she said the same thing. Like, why? Why are you coupling the policies of 
out of Hitler. You said it's Hitler. Why are you copying his policies? Why are you copying his policies? Why? For goodness sake, I don't understand. I'm this thing is driving me nuts. This is the first time I'm watching this, and this is going to be the last time I'm ever watching this because I'll just get annoyed and annoyed all over again. She's stealing the policies of Donald Trump, not saying anything about inflation, not saying anything about uh border policies, not saying anything about the economy. For goodness sake. Can get the help and care they need in their own homes. Now, Donald Trump has a different approach. He tried to cut Medicare and Social Security every year he was president. Look, I believe that when people have worked hard their entire life, they deserve to retire with the benefits they have earned. And I believe in the fundamental freedom of Americans to make decisions about their own bodies and not have their government tell them what to do. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said she won't say anything about inflation. She won't say anything about the economy. She won't say anything about the border. And the next thing she will say is abortion. It's abortion. She's talking about abortion again. Not everybody needs abortion. People want to eat. They want security. I would like to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justices took away from the women of America. That today, one in three women in America, think about it, one in three women in America lives in a state with a Trump abortion ban. Many with no exceptions even for rape and incest. The idea no, no, no. that a woman who survived No, no, why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Trump has said this thing thousands of times or countless countless times that I am for the exceptions like Ronald Reagan. The threat of the threat to the mother's life, rape and incest. And the fact is there are some states in the United States that are conservative, extremely conservative, and they have Catholic hospitals. And these Catholic hospitals, they don't believe in abortion. They don't want to do abortion. And what the Supreme the Supreme Court's ruling said was that let each state decide if they want abortion or not. So there's nothing like national abortion ban. There are some states that actually voted that abortion should be legal. And there are people also in the U.S. who do not believe in abortion. So I believe each state should be able to should be able to decide if they want abortion or not. Not the federal government demanding that everybody must do abortion. Because what happens to Catholic hospitals where abortion is against their religious belief? Why would the federal government also force them to do abortion? So it's against their rights too. So it's just a way of finding common ground to make sure that everybody's interest is equally represented. A crime of a violation to her body should not have the authority to make a decision about what happens to her body next. That is immoral. That is immoral. And Trump's not done. He would ban abortion nationwide, restrict access to birth control and put IVF treatments at risk, and force states Trump said it many times that you can even describe me as the father of IVF. And he said he's even going to make sure that even insurance companies cover the cost of IVF. He has said this times without number. And this is why I get so pissed. And I do not like Kamala Harris. She lies a lot. It's too much. She lies a lot. A lot. Her lies are just too much. You can't even process it because you can't obviously hear these things from donald trump at his rallies you can hear it at his rallies i do not even understand i'm so pissed i wish i could be taking donald trump's videos of making all these speeches and be putting it side by side as she's saying them i can't to monitor women's pregnancies 
I can't wait for this thing to I can't wait for this video to, to end. I'm bored already and I'm pissed. And look, I think we all know one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to simply agree no. that the government should not be telling her what to do with her no, body. No, no, no. No. You can't abandon your feet and support a pressure. No. And it's very Congress wrong. Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom nationwide as President of the United States. I will proudly sign it into law. Proudly. And look, on a, another subject, politicians have got to stop treating immigration as an issue to scare up votes in an election. Okay. And Let's see what she said by the Treat it as the serious challenge that it is that we must finally come together to solve. I will work with Democrats and Republicans to sign into law the border security bill that Donald Trump killed. When I was attorney general of a border state, I saw the chaos and violence caused by transnational criminal organizations that I took on. And when I am president, we will quickly remove those who arrive here unlawfully, prosecute the cartels, and give Border Patrol the support they so desperately need. To let you know, 16,000 Border Control officers endorsed Donald Trump. She's currently the border czar. She was put in charge of immigration and the border. And 15 million people, 15 million illegal immigrants entered the United States. Now she's telling us she's going to secure the border. Why have we not secured the border in the last three and a half years? Your words mean nothing because you had the opportunity to do it and you didn't do it. Now you're saying you're going to give the border patrol the power to do it when you have been caught on video saying you're going to abolish ICE. You're going to abolish immigration of that is racist to have immigration officers to monitor the border now you are telling us you are going to deport illegal immigrants that you allowed in and you allowed sanctuary cities for them and you are giving them government funds you are flying them in into a with plane <laughs> Good. <sighs> at the same time we must acknowledge we are a nation of immigrants And I will work with Congress to pass immigration reform, including an earned path to citizenship for hardworking immigrants like farm workers and our dreamers. She has said what she wants to do. She wants to give citizenship to the 50 million illegal immigrants that are already in the country. She's not going to deport anybody because she allowed them in herself. And she knows what she's doing. She wants to give them citizenship so that they can always sway the election in Democrats' way. That's what they are important voters. As Commander in Chief, I will, Which you will never be. America has the strongest, most lethal fighting force in the world. <laughs> Donald Trump, on the other hand, has shown his contempt. Why do not drop? Why do not drop every time? It's a lie. It's a lie. Four star Marine General, a quote, low life. It's a lie. I will always honor, never denigrate the service and sacrifice of our troops and their families and fulfill our sacred obligation to care for them. Boy, your bad, your bad Afghanistan withdrawal killed. 13 American soldiers and you never go for their memorials before you never even mention their names you never even pay their family respect and you're saying this I will strengthen not surrender America's global leadership with our friends 
because I know that our alliances keep American people safe and make America stronger and more secure. Look, world leaders think that Donald Trump is an easy mark, easy to manipulate with flattery or favor. And you can believe that autocrats like Putin and Kim Jong-un are rooting for him in this election. Is a lie. Is a lie. Don't have to uh, Vladimir Putin endorsed you. <laughs> Beg, please, please. I will always uphold our security, advance <laughs> our national <laughs> interest, and ensure that the United States of America remains as we must forever be a champion of liberty around the world. America, we know what Donald Trump has in mind. More chaos, more division, and policies that help those at the very top and hurt everyone else. I offer a different path, and I ask for your vote and here i'm not going to lie this is 22 minutes into our videos and if i'm an independent voter she has not convinced me to vote for her because she has already just mentioned donald trump donald trump donald trump donald trump donald trump donald trump i'm not convinced i'm sorry i'm not convinced is my pledge to you. I pledge to seek common ground and common sense solutions to make your life better. I am not looking to score political points. I am looking to make progress. We are scoring political points. Are you to sure? Listen to experts, to those who will be impacted by the decisions I make. I mean, have you listened to? Who disagree with me. Did you listen to your brother, Unlike control officers? Donald Trump, I don't Every time, Donald Trump, who please, me are the please. Enemy. Oh, Payments God. Oh, but you call them Hitler. Jail. You call them Hitler and fascist. I'll give them a seat at the table. You call them Hitler and fascist. People would not agree with you. You call your opponent Hitler and fascist. I pledge to you to approach my work with the joy and optimism that comes from making a difference in people's lives. What have you done the last three and a half years? To be a president for all Americans. Is it like? And to always put country above party and self. <laughs> ah, liar. You, you see. Ah, I don't know. Now, please. I love our country with yeah? all my heart. Are you allowed 50 million Lagos to enter your country? It's a lie. I believe in its promise because I've lived it. I grew up as a child of the civil rights movement. My parents would take me to marches in a stroller where crowds of people of all races, faiths, and walks of life came together to fight for the ideals of freedom and opportunity. You are lying. I've lived <laughs> the promise of America. Oh, I saw how hard our mother worked to give her daughters the same chances this country gave her. Growing up, I was blessed to have family by blood and family by love, who instilled in me the values of community, compassion, and faith that have always defined our nation at its best. I've lived the promise of America. I've spent my life fighting for the people who have been hurt and counted out, but never stopped believing that in our I just country, read this speech. You're lying. anything is possible. Oh. I've lived the promise of America, and I see the promise of America in all of you. In all of you. I see it. I see it in the young people who are voting for the first time. Who are determined 
to live free from gun violence and to protect our planet and to shape the world they inherit. I see it in the women who refuse to accept a future without reproductive freedom. And the men who support them. I see it in Republicans who have never voted for a Democrat before, but have put the Constitution of the United States over party. I've seen it in Americans different in many respects, but united in our pursuit of freedom, our belief in fairness and decency, and our faith in a better future. America, I know the vast majority of us have so much more in common than what separates us. I know it. And that's why I am in this race, to fight for the people, just like I always have. Hey, killing innocent black men and mothers too, because their children do not go to Nearly school. Nearly 250 years ago, America was born when we wrested freedom we? from a petty tyrant. We did not view Across you immigrated to Canada. Across the generations, US. Americans have preserved so, that freedom. Which? expanded it, and in so doing, proved to the world that a government of, by, and for the people is strong and can endure. And those who came before us, the patriots at Normandy and Selma, Seneca Falls and Stonewall, on farmlands and factory floors. They did not struggle, sacrifice, and lay down their lives only to see us cede our fundamental freedoms. They didn't do that only to see us submit to the will of another petty tyrant. Oh, I don't want to divide. I don't want to point fingers. I don't want to divide. But I call somebody tyrant. Ow. For the schemes of wannabe dictators. Okay. The United States of America is the greatest idea humanity ever devised. A nation big enough to encompass all our dreams. Strong enough to withstand any fracture or fissure between us, and fearless enough to imagine a future of possibilities. So America, let us reach for that future. Let us fight for this beautiful country we love. And in seven days, we have the power, each of you has the power to turn the page and start writing the next chapter in the most extraordinary story ever told. I thank you all. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that this is done. Please this video is so uninspiring and if i'm an independent voter she has not convinced me she has not said any she did not say anything about inflation she did not say anything about the last four years she did not say anything about the economy and um our border policies are weak and shows she just wants to give free citizenship to, she wants to give free citizenship to um to illegal immigrants and she didn't she didn't talk about how their open border policies has killed a lot of innocent young ladies she's talking about women being able to have um, rights to their body but she's not speaking about how them releasing criminals into the united states has killed a lot of women if she so much love women and she's not using it as 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 a campaign to a political tool to get votes she would be so pissed to hear that illegal immigrants are actually killing women in the united states so this speech is empty it is uninspiring and 
I don't think this can convince any sensible independent voter. At least if he's an independent voter that knows what they're doing and they are very vast on the issues, this will not convince them. Thank you for watching my video and I'm going to my next video will be a reaction video on Donald Trump's closing speech and we are going to compare and contrast while I'm watching that video and you will see how Donald Trump sells himself. And we are going to see too the first two minutes. You see Donald Trump is going to sell himself within the first two minutes of his speech. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye for now.